Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 2, issue number 8 from Mirage Studios, or I should say Mirage Publishing. This came out in November 1994, and this is Face Off. So we start off exactly where we left off with Donatello and nobody showing up to confront uh, Baxter Stockman. And uh, yeah, the rest of the turtles are pretty much being down. And uh, we start our fight immediately with Baxter picking up some uh, debris and chucking it at uh, the two new arrivals. And it hits nobody and knocks him down. And Donatello says, nobody, are you okay? And there's this interesting line by Baxter where he says, nobody? So if I kill you, am I guilty of murder? After all, I've killed nobody. And I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. That was, that was a nice little line right there. So yeah, Donatello is kind of worried about Raph because Raph's the only one that's kind of, I don't want to say still standing, but he's the only one that's still kind of conscious. And Baxter Stockman is just completely focused on nobody and Don when he mentions that, you know what, I'm going to have to excuse myself because uh, New York's finest surely must be on their way by now. And um, he's going to shoot at them. He's like, you know, but first I want to leave you with a little something. It looks like he's about, to, uh, he's getting uh, a missile ready and armed to launch at Donatello and nobody when all of a sudden it explodes and it just rips off one of his arms and just completely blows up uh, the right side of his body. And it turns out that it was due to uh, Raphael and Raphael was like laughing at him. And that's when Baxter grabs Raph and starts running away with him. And nobody tells Donatello, like, hey, you go see to the rest of your brothers. Make sure they're okay. I'll go and stop the robot. And so Donatello goes to see if Leonardo and Mikey are okay. Meanwhile, nobody chases after Baxter. And Baxter's standing on a ledge, and he's holding Raph over the edge. And he basically says, throw down your rocket launcher. Otherwise, I'm going to drop this turtle. And obviously, he'll fall to his death. And so... Nobody chucks down the rocket launcher just as police start to arrive in a helicopter. And so Baxter just lets go and lets Raph fall. We just got this like cool little image of just, look how tiny they are. <laughs> he just lets Raph fall. Nobody runs to go pick up his rocket launcher, but Baxter just starts shooting at him with his uh, chest machine guns. And that's when the police... Uh, have come a little bit closer in their helicopter and they start opening fire on Baxter. Fortunately, they get too close and Baxter's able to launch himself at them and grab on to the helicopter. This is something that always just makes me laugh is when people like, I see this all the time in movies and TV shows and even comics and stuff where someone has like projectile weapons and then they go like and stand within arm's reach of their opponent. It's like, dude, you have a gun. Why are you getting that close? You do know how guns work, right? You don't have to be point blank range for you to use them. But uh, yeah, they always get too close to their target, which just allows the target to, to grab them. Or in this case, grab the helicopter. And so it grabs the helicopter, uh, which sends one of the policemen flying off and falling to his death. Meanwhile, the weight of Baxter is just pulling this helicopter down and it actually crashes down onto a, a police barricade and just blows up a bunch of cop cars, kills a bunch of police officers. And Baxter, we just get this cool image where he just like stands up out of the burning wreckage and uh, he makes his escape. Uh, meanwhile, we cut to Donatello, Leonardo, and Michelangelo with Casey. Yeah, they hear the explosion. They're wondering what's going on. Donatello says like, hey, you guys go back to the apartment. I'm going to go check on Raph and nobody. And so Donatello makes his way. He's like trying to, uh, he's leaving from like rooftop to rooftop, building the building, trying to make sure none of the cops see him. And he comes into this uh, abandoned building where nobody is there. And he uh, asks like, hey, where's Raph? And nobody basically admits, I don't know. Last thing I saw was the robot dropping him off a building. There was nothing I could have done. He might have survived though, because when I looked, there was no body. Like he should have struck the ground, but there was nothing there. So maybe he grabbed like a, a ledge or a phone wire or something and he was able to, to make his escape. I believe the cops don't have him because, you know, I'm a police officer myself. And if any of the cops have him, they would have like radioed it in. I would have been able to know. So 
He's out there somewhere. I don't know where, but come on, let's go find him. And then that's when we see Baxter, and he's down in the sewers, and things seem to be going a little bit okay. Like, he was losing a lot of fluids earlier, but he's no longer losing them. Uh, he's regaining sight back on the, the right side of his body. Um, the regeneration system seems to be working, but he's feeling kind of dizzy, and uh, he passes out. And then that's when Raph wakes up, and he's strapped down to this high-tech, well, looks like a high-tech hospital bed. And there's like all these like IVs and stuff injected into his body. And he has no idea where the hell he's at. Neither do we. And that's how the issue ends. So we, we end on a little cliffhanger where we have no idea what's going on with Raph. And um, we actually get a, another separate story. So uh, the bog swamp demon is back again. And in this one, he's chasing down a harpy. Uh, basically, he's talking about how he's killed a bunch of demons. Like somehow a bunch of demons are being summoned. He just has no idea why. But he's chasing down this harpy and he's going to try to get answers from it. So he, he grabs a harpy, starts biting into it, uh, smashes it, and just knocks it down. But meanwhile, he crashes down to the swamp below as well. The swamp water like, reju uh, rejuvenates him. And so he starts becoming like, stronger and heals from the swamp water. Meanwhile, he feels like this tug. Uh, it's like a psychic tug. And it leads him to this cabin where he feels like a bunch of evil emanating inside. And he smashes down the doors and he sees what looks like a bunch of old witches. <laughs> and they basically say, like, you know, it's time for you to die, Bog Beast, for what you've done to our beloved sister, which is uh, one of the harpies. And also for masquerading the hordes of hell that we have set loose upon the land. And that's how that little story ends for now. It's to be continued. I will say it's kind of interesting. I mean, it's very much just man thing and swamp thing, but with demons. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. I'm kind of interested to see more about the... Uh, Bog Swamp Demon. But there you go. There is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Volume 2, Issue Number 8, Face Off. I like this issue a lot as well. I like this issue more than the other one, and I more than the previous issue, and I enjoyed the previous issue a lot. Uh, this one has like just more cool fighting. Baxter Stockman being a pretty badass villain, just taking down uh, the turtles, blowing up police helicopters and barricades um he gets like half his body destroyed and he's still going so yeah plus we get the little cliffhanger with raf like what the hell's going on with him at the end where's he at are the utrams going to come back is he like in the tcri building being healed by them or something i guess we'll find out so yeah there you go i enjoyed reading it and i hope you enjoyed watching this video hope to see you next time take care later so what'd you guys think of that video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell for a notification, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far, and I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see, and I hope to see you guys next time. Later.